Welcome to Bang It News. Today, Jane Fonda betrayed American Poe's claim. During a trip to North Vietnam, Jane Fonda turned smuggled messages from U.S. Poe's over to their captors. This claim is false. Description The long standing claim that Jane Fonda turned smuggled messages from U.S. Poe's over to their North Vietnamese captors is false. Explanation It is perhaps indicative of the divisive nature of U.S. military involvement in the Vietnam War in the 1960s and 70s that one of the persons most commonly associated with the war was neither a world leader nor a politician, neither a general nor a soldier, neither a participant nor a casualty of the war, but an American actress, and in ironic fashion, that actress is most notorious for something she did to do in Vietnam rather. Than all the things she did do in July 1972, during the waning days of U.S. military involvement in Vietnam, actress Jane Fonda incurred the enmity of untold thousands of Vietnam veterans and their families, as well as service members for generations to come. When she arrived in Hanoi, North Vietnam, and began a two-week tour of the country, Fonda visited North Vietnamese villages, hospitals, schools and factories damaged in the war, weaving her comments about what she observed at those sites with denunciations of U.S. military policy in recordings broadcast as propaganda to U.S. servicemen via Radio Hanoi, met with international visitors and reporters who were also in North Vietnam, spent about an hour chatting with seven U.S. POS at a meeting arranged by her North Vietnamese guides, and posed for photographs at an anti-aircraft. Emplacement set up in a rural area just outside Hanoi she went to tour the country's dike system, which was rumored to have been intentionally bombed by American forces minus something the U.S. government to this day. Thanks for watching. Bang it news.